Hey, I'm Dean Prone. I'm the product unit manager for the Windows Multipoint Server team here at Microsoft. And today I'm going to demo for you the new features of Windows Multipoint Server 2011. Okay, very quick recap. What is Windows Multipoint Server? Uh, Windows Multipoint Server is the ability to take one computer, attach multiple keyboards, monitors, and mice to it, and build a whole bunch of individual computing sessions. Uh, Multipoint 2011, the product we're releasing, is the second version of the product. So what I have here in front of me is a computer running Multipoint 2011. Uh, that's an HP box, and that single box is powering all the stations that you see around me here. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can, you can connect those stations. The, the ways we supported in 2010 were what we called the Direct Connect and the USB Connect method. This monitor connects right into the back of this PC. That's Direct Connect. Uh, these three monitors connect via these USB stations uh, over USB. That's the USB Connect method. Some of the new ways that we have in Multipoint 2011 is we have something we're calling the LAN Connect method. Uh, the LAN Connect method is the ability to connect a client over the network. Right? Uh, I have here a WISE thin client terminal. Uh, this WISE thin client terminal just connects over the network. And this station here is powered by that terminal. Um, basically, anything that can run an RDP client, because this is just built on top of Server 2008R2, can be made into a terminal for Multipoint. Uh, I also have a repurposed PC here. So this was a PC that was running, uh, I think I was running Vista or XP on it. And I basically just used the remote connection desktop thing here to, to turn it into a multi-point station as well. Uh, another, two, another new station configuration that we have is something we're calling split screen. So let me back up here. This larger monitor, it's a 24-inch monitor, uh, is connected, I think this one connects directly to the back of the PC. And I've configured it with a way that we call split screen. Uh, which basically lets me map one keyboard and mouse to the left-hand side of that screen and a different keyboard and mouse to the right-hand side of the screen. Right? So you can really have two individuals logged into that station using it at the same time. Maybe it's because you wanted to save space, maybe it was because um, the monitors were expensive, or maybe you had some real collaborative learning scenarios where you had people you wanted to work together on the same sort of, on the same sort of environment. Uh, one new thing in Multipoint that we're really putting a lot of effort behind in Multipoint 2011 is the ability for the stations to be logged in with different users in different languages. So if you look around here, um, I don't know that I'll know all these languages. Let's see, I have somebody logged in here in French, and I have somebody up here logged in uh, as a Japanese user. I think I have a Turkish user and a Spanish user, as I look quickly. So you can imagine Multipoint in an environment where multiple languages are spoken each user that logs into the system can have their preference set for their own individual language. Okay, uh, swapping over to the management experience, right? As, as a quick recap, the multi-point manager console is something we aim at the teacher in the classroom or at the, you know, the administrator in a small business. It's really designed to give them the control over their multi-point installation. Um, so what we've really tried to do is make all of this really, really, really easy to manage. Um, you know, you can add a user with two clicks. That's, that's similar to what you see in a lot of other solution type products from Microsoft. Some of the new things that we have in Multipoint 2011 are what we call the orchestration tab. And what the orchestration or the desktops tab in the console lets you do is it's really aimed at letting the teacher or the business owner have uh, an interactive experience around controlling what's happening at these, at these nodes. So, for example, I can zoom in here and I can see a thumbnail of what's going on at the particular station. Uh, that's, that's almost real time. We update that every five seconds. Uh, if I see things there that I don't like, I can do things like I can block the station. And if I block the station, it essentially renders the keyboard and the mouse inputs irrelevant for that particular station. Uh, that's something that I can do uh, not only at one station, so let me unblock that station, uh, but it's also something that I can do across all the stations. So I have a button here that says block all stations. And now, uh, as you look around me, all of these stations have basically been blocked and aren't, and aren't useful. All right, the other interesting thing that I'll show here is project. Um, what project does is project essentially takes the contents of one station and it can project it across all the other stations. You can do a project one-to-one, -one, but the, the interesting scenario I like is the project one-to-many. Uh, so let me take, for example, this paint uh, session that Ricardo is doing over there, and let me project that station uh, to all the other stations in the classroom. 
So I'll select that. And what you'll see here is that all of the other stations are going to swap over, and they'll all be picking up what's happening at this station. And so if I go and I highlight a color here and I start drawing, what you'll see is all that starts to kind of pick up on all the other stations, right? Demoing, um, you know, using one example to educate others in the classroom, that's sort of how we see that being used. There's a whole bunch more, uh, there's a whole bunch more functionality available in this tab that I'm not gonna have time to demo today, but I can open and close applications remotely, uh, I can limit web access at a station or at all the stations to prevent people from going to websites that maybe the administrator or the teacher doesn't want to allow. The last thing I want to show as a new feature of 2011 is something we're calling multi-server management. Uh, you know, in a classroom, and I'll talk as I do this here, in a classroom you're going to have not just five or six stations like I have here, you're probably going to have, you know, 20. Uh, and you don't want to have to buy really expensive server class hardware to, to, to support all those stations. So we sort of recognize that people are going to want to configure one PC with like five or six stations running off of it and then have that sort of as clusters in different points in the lab or the library. So what you can do with multipoint is you can add more than one multipoint computer into the management console here. Uh, so what I did is I went and I hit add computers and it's going to search across the, the local subnet and it's going to see if it can find any other multi-point servers on that subnet. And when I hit add and then OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be prompted for the credentials to log into that machine. Uh, if I remember them correctly. If I type in the, uh, the password and the username correctly, uh, what it'll do is it'll go out and it'll try to connect to that machine using the credentials that were provided. Uh, and then using those credentials, it'll bring all the information from that other multipoint machine uh, into this multipoint machine. Now, we have two versions of multipoint, standard and premium. One is domain joinable, one is not. Premium is the one that you can join a domain. If I had these on a domain, and my domain credentials had the right permissions to go and manage that other machine, I wouldn't have even been prompted there to enter it in. But what will happen now is if I go to the Stations tab, I see all the stations across both systems. And if I go to the Users tab, I see all the users across both systems. And on the Desktops tab, if you zoom in here, you'll notice that a number of these stations here are ones that are running on a parallel uh, installation over in the other room. Okay, so that's it for Multipoint 2011. Um, big new things from my perspective, the ability to connect in clients over the LAN, the ability to string together uh, multiple installations. Um, there's just a whole bunch of new stuff in, in the new version, and I would encourage you to go and check it out.